Welcome guys to another episode of the Hacks Mwili Show Show and I'm very very delighted and grateful that we've actually surpassed the 80,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. This means so much more to me and without you I'm not gonna be here. Anyway, let's continue. So today I want to share with you how I started my media buyer agency named Tessa Media and how do I started, what are the things that happened along the way and how do I land the first client and how do I get clients consistently? Firstly, what is media buyer? Media buyer is actually people or agency or group of organization that actually helps people with their social media promotion for their businesses, you know, providing content. And a lot of people call it media agency, but it's absolutely media buyer. So how and when do I start? I actually started in the way back in 2018. So then I was in school and Though I have been doing something similar to that, but I don't know I can actually form a business or a brand around something like that. But I absolutely I'll be creating hard for people at a way back in the 2016 to earlier 2017. You know, have been in this online stuff and just messing all around. But I never knew this makes so much more whole business. Back then when I was in college, before I left college to those who actually belongs to, I have several people that has worked for. And when I worked for them, they said, Oh, this is good. What is the name of your company what is the name of your company what is your name of your agents and i'd be like all those noises i was like what does that really mean he understand so i decided okay no problem since people are hacking all the time and there was even a very client that wanted to pay i sent my own personal account and it said he can't pay into the personal account if truly i know what i'm doing or this is really what it i should provide a corporate account with a company name on it and i felt like wait a minute what is that? And nevertheless, I have to talk to one or two people. They absolutely tell me the same thing that I should try to consider to come up with a name and I can actually have a bank account on the business name. And this actually let me understand that, okay, there is more to it. So what I did next is I said, okay, I need to come up with a name. They come up with a name, Tessa Media. And the name was actually acronym formed out from the group of the family okay so good so that is how i actually started and i just keep working with people and just keep delivering service and i just keep learning more and also as i was working i was also you know paying some people more to to tell me to train me more to learn more you know i spend most time on the youtube every 24 hours i mean my 24 hours is on youtube you know even though we're having lectures in school i have to still be on youtube just keep learning and you know paying for some people you know to take their courses to understand how big this industry actually works so that is actually how i actually started from the beginning and i never knew it's going to go so broadly like that because after two years that i started i'll be able to secure over eighty thousand dollars in this media buyer industry and eighty thousand can looks like a lot of money but to me in two years and my country it's kind of a lot of money because one single dollar at the moment i'm speaking is actually 805 naira so 805 naira times <laughs> so you get to have a lot of millions and millions and millions that eventually if anybody has such money you know the belt like oh my life have totally changed so that is how I, I actually started. So now the most important thing I want you guys to understand is that even though you, you might not necessarily be doing media buyer, you may be doing something, but there is so much more that is included in every business industry. But what makes me, you know, to, to be at the top and being very, very knowledgeable in the industry is the fact that I'm always up to the game. And what does that simply mean is that as a media buyer, you know, I don't just only focus on promotion on social media, whether Instagram or Facebook or Google, then alone. You know, I now try to understand that what makes people, what resonates, what triggers people, you know, to want to go viral. Why do they have to run ads? What is the result hard always provide for people? Then I start having more cliche of some other things that I was adding as a skill that if any single client actually came that it wants me to help them to run hard for like three about five months then even though they pay for the charges then i can take some other skill stuff and pitch it to them that i let them know that without this they had the law is not just gonna be enough for you 
Okay, so that is how the journey actually started. So the second one is that how do I get my first paying clients? I think I made a video around this in a couple of months ago, how I actually made my first million, you know, a single million, <laughs> you understand, a single million. So how do I do so? My first paying client, though I can't really that much remember, but I can actually remember because um, when I actually have the name and I set up the you know corporate accounts and stuff like that i'm talking about the one i set up after i have the company not the one i was doing before i have made it legally official by with the uh, nigerian government okay so when i have it uh, registered so the client that actually came first the first leading gospel leading artist late sammy opposer one thing happened on that same day when it came, it's actually, you know, when we came and we're like, okay, I want you, let's work together and stuff like that. Him and a presidential um, aspirant actually came, you know, at the same time that, okay, I want you to, you know, you do this, okay, do this for me and do this for me and do this for me. But both of them came and it took them about two days. It looks as if they are working in hind, both of them, and both of them pay at the same time for the first little job we actually, you know, try to like call. So I'm speaking of when we register the company legally, not the one I've been making before then, you understand? So the both of them pay at the same time. You know, I don't want to disclose, you know, the uh, presidential aspirant that I was talking about then, you know, and so that was actually my first one. But what made them to trigger me to actually was, this is what happened. Nobody referred, but there is, I run a little promotion that said, in the design was that we don't care so much more about what is happening out there but i and my team actually cares about what you actually needed irrespective of whatsoever the industry your promotion online is what we care about and it's absolutely free just send a dm and you can confirm that so i don't know how they say it or how do they you know understand the interpretation of it but eventually they came in and some other people and were like oh this is really working so we have to put more money and took a push so that is how i actually got the first paying clients when the company is legally registered with the corporate uh, affairs commission here in nigeria now the last one i want to talk about is how do i get clients how do I get clients that I actually worked for? How? Because it's not about set. If you like, set up a company that goes to the mass or set up a, a, a car that, that uses water. It's not about what you build. It's not about your invention. It's not about maybe, you know, all this idea, charismatic stuff like that. There are a lot of hundreds of projects that we've killed, that we've built and killed, you know. But how do you rest? How do you get people to say it? And people be like, it's sponsor had uh, just one sponsor. People is gonna, you know, pull traffic to you. What about the time you don't have financially to run sponsor that? How will you get people to see your brand? That's the question. How do you get people to say? Anyway, I'm gonna share one with you, which is what I did earlier on when I was starting out, and this actually helps me to get so much client. And this is what I do. It's called spamming. There are different kind of spamming. And I've talked about some various spamming in some, you know, tutorials and videos in the past and stuff like that. But this spamming is actually spamming people's content. Now there are automated um, software that does all those spammings and stuff for people. But then I actually do it manually. What does that simply mean? If you go on Instagram or any social media platform and you search for, let's say we, let's say I want to target vendors that sell houses which is real estate or retails you know unless i want to target them for instance i go to instagram search and search for realtors or real estate agent then i click on the account and i checked their previous one because then only influencers and bloggers and people that dress in bikini always get engagement then even though the algorithms is not as strict as it is but then they they, they they can easily recognize you because they always have three comment four comment and um their likes is always around you know like five one two comment and stuff like that but i want to work for these people what i did is i go to their post their recent post 
I come in lovely. Wow, this is a great apartment. And I hope someone is going to pick this soonest. So when I do those comments that complement them, there are some people that, you know, it's not only real estate, but works in all pages. Imagine someone that is not getting likes or just get one likes in a lifetime. But you went to that person's page and you give the person likes to his recent 10 likes, recent 10 posts, right? You give likes to the recent 10 posts and you actually make two comments on the last two posts. Anytime the person opens his Instagram account, he's going to see the notification that he got 10 likes and two comments. Now he's going to be curious that, wow, what kind of engagement is this? Imagine you that you always get 100 comments and imagine you open your Instagram and you saw like 300 comments and you know thousands of like, you know, oh, what is happening on my page? Who gave me shout out or what miracle is happening? You want to see the content and who? So when I believe when people open those their Instagram, they're going to see only one person give them the 10 likes and two comments on their last post and 100% blur. They will know when they're going to press your profile to check what you actually offered. So when they're not checked our business page, they say that, oh, we do this, we help people with this, or we do this and do that. And they were like, okay. Then the next thing is that they send DM. So I use spamming from the beginning and I spend time on Instagram. If I don't, uh, then I don't have so much money to spend on ads. And moreover, there are a lot of geniuses people online and there are a lot of social media guru that claims I do hard, I do this and do that stuff like that. So how do you stand out in the mix when you don't even have money to push your stuff out there? Then I just do spamming. I don't go to big client or big brand or big individual that they have 200 comments that my comments are like, we just lost in the garden of Eden. I don't just do that. You know, it's just like me taking a cup of water and pouring it into Atlantic Ocean. So my water is just going to lost in between. So what I did is I target content, I target businesses, uh, individual personalities, you know, whether government or I target them that has a very low, very low engagement that they can easily see my engagement. So I do that on Instagram. I do that on Facebook also as well. I do that on LinkedIn. You know, where I was just hungry. You know, I was just like, oh, I need to secure so much clients. So that has actually brought so much returning and returning and returning clients that I never pay a damn for sponsor had them. Anything I run had there, I think the whole throughout the year of 2018, I never spent a penny on ad. I only run ad for clients that we had. So I didn't spend a penny because I was, if you don't have the money, spend the resources, you know, use your time. That's the resources you actually have. So this is what I did all throughout the, those time that it absolutely does what pays very well. And the question is, is this logic? Is this system is it still working to this word you will be amazed with my answer it's fucking work like it aggressively fucking work so why do i say it fucking works and what is my proof go to someone's page that has about 1000 2000 3000 uh followers or less than 1000 that is having five likes and one comment i'm even most of those posts 80 percent of their posts no comment and you go give that page <laughs> you go give that page five likes on their recent post and give them three comments on their last post and tell me if they're not gonna notice you you get a point if they're not gonna notice you and i don't do that on someone that his last post is like one month ago two months ago or three weeks ago such people are not present you know they are not active so i do that for people that post at least 24 hours ago or maximum at least within last three days so i do that that's what i do i do it and it just keep boiling in and boiling in and boiling in and boiling in and boiling until 2020 that i i, I already have massively of clients that they just keep coming if they, if they don't want to do this they have something to do and sometimes they ask me do i know someone who does this you know, someone like, okay, let's say I run ahead for someone and someone like, oh, I want to build my website. Do you know anybody that does website designing? I'm like, what do you mean? I do website designing. Then I said, like, does it. And what I do is they pay me and I go learn how to build a website. They pay me, I go learn how to build a website. So that is what I did. That's how I learned how to build a website, do graphic design and do a lot of things. A lot of things. I learned it when a client brings the job. 
You got a point. So, but now that we have team that does all those things because we, you know, we're scaling. And even before we have team on board, now what I say, okay, my time is very precious. I should ask source for some other thing. So when a client brings a certain job, I just, someone that I know is competent, you know, pay them. Imagine a client pays $350 for a service and you just pay someone $15 to $20 to complete the service to your test. And when your client says he's satisfied, then I can let a person have the money to freelancers. So that's what I actually did. I hope this actually um, brought you, you know, um, enlighten you about like those tactics, the method you can actually do, you know, getting your first paying client, you know, and seeing how you can, you know, always have a returning client. So with that being said, that is all for now. And it's going to be awesome because I don't know. We're going to throw a party when we hit a hundred K subscriber because this is absolutely, you know, I'm very, very happy. So we, for this video, we just surpassed 80,000 subscribers to new subscribers on world. Thank you very much for joining this community. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And I have something on board coming. It's currently at 50% production and it's currently coming to you guys. And I'm so sure this is going to not only transform you people's life but it's going to absolutely help financially from what level you are to wherever you are so i'm gonna have it on mine and we're already working on it my team are working on it aggressively and to see how it's good if you haven't downloaded the tesla tv app to check the tesla tv app because that apps it's not just a regular tv <laughs> check it out check it out you just gotta see so thank you guys very much love you subscribe like comment and share